by going out and actually beating the hell out of this knife. You're talking about weight first. This is pretty heavy. It's a big bulky knife. You see the spine on it. It's got that I think, I believe it's five sixteenths of an inch. And I haven't need to sharpen it until this last time. Because I actually cleared about a football field and a half worth of stuff that was in my way. Not a whole football field in a row, just more of making a trail for my four day bivouacking adventure. But you can get this part of the blade and keep it really razor sharp for your lighter chores. And this part right here is just going to take a beating. You know, but the parade goes, I've restored it to. Um, where I can't see the edge anymore, which is pretty much as sharp as this knife or any other utility knife needs to be. It's extra sharp. It's got a fine sharpness right in here, because that's where I do my planing for planing, and also for marking trails. And this right here is going to be like the axe part, so it's got more of a utility edge for chopping. And uh, as far as usefulness goes, this does the job of like this and this. This is the job of this axe right here, and it does the job of my old wood knife, the excellent Sog Tiger It's got a real nice race. It's good for use as a machete. And this works well, but you have to do a lot more work. It really protects your hands. I love this knife right here, but this is not coming with me anymore. Sadly, it is retired, and it keeps an edge really well. But it is a high carbon steel. It is harder steel than that. Here's this. Tiger Shark, you don't get near as much. So you can't get that machete action with the Tiger Shark. You can go make your own trails, and also you can use this as an axe. Yeah, this and this are in the same category. Spear points on both of these are almost identical. You swing this, you get about the same as this. See these blades right here? Because this is just fly through everything that you swing it at effortlessly. You chop down a three inch round tree in about four swings with this if you know what you're doing. Other options, like I said, is to carry both the axe and the bowie knife to the same job. It's one cold steel harangue. And that's what makes this knife the most excellent knife I've ever owned. Wear it right along your leg. It has a sheath right here. And on the sheath, we've got some duct tape and lighter attached. You can also sew on bags and other things did it with all these holes and stuff you can attach it to anything this makes it a great sheet you hold the knife upside down and shake it it's a secure X sheet and it really does its job look nothing holding that in and just take your thumb right here and mod just use the lanyard right here and another lanyard on the bottom tied around my leg and that snap in the buckle it's a military grade snap you recognize it let me just you need someone to see if you can hear this like that and not going anywhere even if it were to get wet and the velcro fail that snap's not going to fail also got another snap right here so you don't lose your knife very secure okay, right here got a good place you want to actually do a little carving for right here. The material is there's absent, completely absent. This would be better if it had the Teflon coating like almost all other coat steel products that I've seen. Especially since it's high carbon, it just rusts effortlessly. The jimping of the handle, you can see right here, really, really fine, but for, and it just works well. It's big enough for my hand. I think it's the perfect size. I would not collect this knife. I would use this knife.
three swing. Here he comes. All right, let's survey the damage. And that is a few minutes, like five and a half minutes of work. And you fail one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think ten's around here somewhere, baby. Huh, trees. That is the power of the cold steel Gurkha Kukri. Get your campsite up and running quick. Walking in the woods with Andrew.